turn around and you flip your rod around, guess what happens? You get an automatic straight line. And then you can press your, you put your rod down. And with a fish on that, it's going to bend the rod backwards and you're going to keep a constant tight line. What is going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with my I'm your thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hopefully, you guys are having an amazing day. I'm having a pretty decent day. It is midnight, yes, yet again. And yet again, we are back on Russian for fishing for. And today, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about energy. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Energy, really mystic. Did you really actually think you needed to do a, a video on this? But you'd be surprised at how how technical energy actually is so we're going to talk about what burns energy what creates energy what regens energy we're going to talk about all of those different bars at the bottom left of your screen so without further ado let's go ahead and get started Okay, so as you can see, I'm out here on Tunguska. I'm just doing a little bit of float, fi float fishing for some round whitefish. Um, and I figured, you know what, let's just go ahead and talk about energy. So to start off with, we're going to talk about what burns through energy. Then we're going to talk about your energy bar. We're going to talk about five different energy states that I kind of like to call states of energy. Uh, we'll talk about the food bar. Um, and we'll talk about like the comfort bar, the health bar and all of that stuff. Does food actually affect your your energy? We're going to talk about tea, coffee, all of that good stuff. So while I'm out here just float fishing, let's just go ahead and do it. To start off with, what burns through your energy quickly? Well, one, big fish. And I'm not just talking about size. Okay, so there's different types of fish in the game. There's some that are actually fairly big that don't really have a lot of strength or weight to them. When it comes down to those, they're not going to burn your energy as fast as, say, you decide to hook into a catfish and you've got a really big catfish that you're really fighting hard. That catfish is going to burn energy a lot faster. However, if you hook into something like a beluga or you hook into like a taman or something like that, then you're looking at something that's pretty much going to really rip your energy up pretty good. Any physical actions in the game can actually burn your energy. So if you're running up and down the bank, if you're you, your cat calling a catfish, or you're jumping around, or you're fighting a fish, pulling on fish, fighting fish, reeling fast. If you hold shift down when you reel fast, all of these are going to burn energy very quickly. Okay? But here's another thing that you might not actually know. If you go into your rod and you look at right here, you see how it says right here, mass, 268 grams. The weight of your rod and how big your reel and all your setup is actually is something that can affect how that can actually affect how how much you actually burn your energy when it comes down to it the weight of your rod how hard you're pulling on your rod you're reeling fast so if i if i go ahead and i cast out here like this and i go ahead and i'm hitting shift and i'm reeling in fast that'll burn through my energy if i hold the rod up like this when i'm fighting a fish and i reel fast with shift i'm really really burning my energy quickly and if i've got a heavy setup then a heavy setup will actually cause me to burn energy very quickly as well okay so you kind of need to be careful about all of these things and like i said the way that you kind of counteract that is one you put your rod down two you stop reeling and then you try and kind of just pull on your rod and make sure that you you've still got tension on your line and you're keeping your fish um, under tension so you don't lose it but in the end what it comes down to is all of these things together kind of burn through your energy very quickly all right so let's talk about the actual energy bar the energy bar is at the old lower left it is right here okay so this is your energy bar right there this is your food bar this is your health bar this is your comfort you don't need to worry about your health as of right now health really the only thing that affects that is alcohol if you drink too much alcohol that can get lower but most people really don't have a problem with that moving too much so let's talk about your energy bar right here how important is your energy bar um what happens when it goes down what happens when it happens was happens when it gets low okay the the lower your energy is okay the slower your reeling will become and the and the harder it is for your your angler to actually pull 
the rod up. So if you're holding your rod up like this and your energy goes down all the way to the red, there's a very good chance automatically you're, you'll see your rod come down like that and it'll slowly go down. On top of that, you see how fast I'm actually reeling right now? Okay, so that speed right there is me with an energy bar of being in the green. That means I'm pretty much reeling at full speed along with shift that will actually slow down significantly. If your energy bar goes all the way down to like a sliver all the way down to here, then your reeling will pretty much stop completely. And it sucks, I know, but it actually has happened to me. A lot of times I'll be concentrating on the fish and I won't actually be watching my energy and I'll let my energy get all the way down there. And what happens when you get down to a sliver of energy left? Well, the devs have decided to be a little kind to us, and they put in 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 what I like to call a. It's 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 kind of it's kind of like a pause. It's kind of like a hey, dumbass, do you realize if that your energy is down to zero and you're just about to lose your fish, if your energy gets all the way down to zero, or it gets down to a sliver, the devs have kind of put in there that pause of like it's about 10 to 15 seconds and then you'll just sit there your energy won't go down any further but you'll be fighting the fish and they just give you that little pause to say okay idiot have you seen your energy are you looking at your energy because if you have it you're losing it you're going to lose this fish in just a minute okay so at that point in time once you get to that you get a little bit of a pause and you can put your rod down if you're on a boat you can put your rod down and start trolling away from the fish and i'll talk about emergency situations like that a little bit later but that's pretty much really all that happens is you have a hard time holding your rod up if you're fighting your rod like that or you're fighting the fish like that and you're holding your rod up like i am now and you have a hard time reeling your reeling is very 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 slow Okay, so that's kind of what happens with your energy bar, and when your energy bar hits zero, you automatically lose the fish, period, no if, ands, or buts about it. But like I said before, the devs will give you a little bit of a pause, letting you know, hey, dumbass, you're not watching your energy, and you're just about to lose this fish. Okay, okay so next... The five different types of energy states. I know I make this sound more complicated than it is, but it's actually pretty easy for me to understand this way. Your energy bar has five different states. Number one, your resting energy. Now, if you guys remember when you were newbies and you came in to start playing the game, the game told you that there was different little feeding troughs, if you will, like feeding areas that you can go and eat for free, and you don't have to worry about actually feeding yourself or purchasing anything from the store. Well, when you ate from those, what would actually happen is, is your energy wouldn't go above 50 or 60 percent. That 50 or 60 percent stalled energy is what I like to call it. Basically, when it comes down to that, you're at a resting energy and and what I mean by that is your energy is not going to go above 50 or 60 percent. It's just going it's to stop at 50 or 60 percent. And that's what I like to call the resting energy. OK, it will never go above that as long as you don't use coffee or tea. Next is your building of your energy. So let's say that you're at your resting energy, you're at 50, 60 percent and you want to go dig something up. So you put your shovel in your hand and you look at your energy and you go to dig and nothing happens. It says your energy is not high enough. And that's when you start asking chat, OK, what the hell is going on? Why? Why do? Why can I not? You know, why can I not dig? And chat tells you, well, you have to push your energy above 50 or 60 percent. When you do that, you use coffee or tea. It'll push your energy above 50 or 60 percent, and then you can go ahead and dig at that point. That is what I like to call the building energy state. It's where you're building energy, and the game will recognize that you're doing that, and it will automatically try and get your energy up to 100 percent. You guys with me so far? Okay, good. Next, you have your burning of your energy. The burning of your energy is pretty simple. The building of your energy pushes your energy above 50 or 60 percent. Once you hit about 70, 75 percent, two things will burn your energy. One, fighting a big fish or a strong fish or two, digging. Digging will absolutely completely burn your energy down to zero and it will automatically start to regenerate and start building your energy again. Does that make sense? Number three, number four, 
Number four, build and burn. So building and burn is when you build your energy above 50 or 60%. Then when it's up there, you, you burn it. And you burn it all at once. And you either burn it with a big fish or you burn it with um, digging. The devs have actually been very intuitive when it comes down to this in the game. If you are at a resting state, you're not you're never going to when your energy is at a resting state, which is 50 or 60 percent, you're never going to be able to push your energy above that 50 or 60 percent unless you have coffee or tea. When you start pushing your energy above the 50 or 60 percent and you're going to 70 percent and you turn around and you dig, OK? the game recognizes this automatic Ooh, yes please the game recognizes this automatically and what happens is is if you watch the bottom lower half of the screen you can see that i actually number one need cocoa to help with my comfort because i am in a rainstorm That'll build my, co my, my comfort up a little bit. But what you'll see is you'll see my energy will automatically regenerate all the way to the top, all the way 100%. Okay? When you're in your resting state, your energy won't go above 50 or 60%. But when you burn your energy like that, and when you hit coffee or tea and it puts you over 70%, what happens is, is the game recognizes this. There's a script in the game that the devs created where the game recognizes it and it automatically fills your energy above 50 or 60%. Once you've done this, it'll just continue to fill it all the way full. You can burn it by fishing. You can burn it by, by digging, but it'll continue to... Um, it'll continue to regenerate it all to pretty much 100%. As you can see right now, my energy is almost at 100%. Okay? And the game recognizes that as something that's part of the game, something you intentionally did, so it intentionally pushes your energy above 70%. When it comes to high levels going out and, and, and fishing for like beluga and stuff like that, the first thing that they do before they do anything is they they have a couple of a couple things of tea or coffee and they push themselves over 70 percent. That way, if they get to the point where they hook into a big fish, they've got full stats and they can fight that fish very, very easily. Okay. It's very important to know how the burn, the build and burn works. Now, the last and not least is what I like to call a dead battery. The dead battery is kind of interesting because I'm going to go ahead and show a picture of it right now. Your energy is down to pretty much zero. Your comfort is pretty much down to zero. And you're pretty much screwed. And the reason you're pretty much screwed is because your comfort and your energy are both down now technically you could have your food down as well and that would be even a worse um a worse dead battery but i like to call this the dead battery because you have no energy you have no comfort to help you get energy back and you're pretty much hosed and you need to do something about this very quickly okay so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what the different stats in the lower left of your screen do does so if you look down here you got your energy your food we're not going to worry about the health but we're going to talk about the comfort okay you guys with me so far all right so your food bar does your food affect your energy now you're all probably thinking no absolutely not i've let my food go all the way down to red and i've never had a problem but guess what you'd be absolutely wrong okay i'm going to put up a little quote from the how to play this game that the devs created and it goes like this energy bar quote this indicator and this is per the devs this indicator displays the player's energy reserves this energy is needed for fighting fish crafting running and other physical activities the energy level and its regeneration speed depends on the player's food level and comfort food may also affect the energy regeneration okay so right there that tells you your food actually does affect your energy and i'll explain how it actually does in a minute next let's talk about the food bar quote directly from the devs 
make sure to eat at regular intervals to remain satisfied. The food level affects the energy regeneration speed. Some food products may have additional bonuses. Besides giving a full stomach, they may raise other characteristics as well. Now, let me go ahead and address that real quick when it comes down to the food. There is nothing that I found in the game that's really helped out when it comes down to really anything. There's a tip, a tool tip on the game that when you first start playing the game and you first start switching between different different maps there's a tool tip at the bottom that you read and sometimes that a tool tip will come up and talk about food and it'll say you need to eat often and you need to have a full stomach because it helps out your energy and it helps your uh, how does it put it what does it say it says it says more to the point of it helps your your angler be stronger to fight fish. Now, I think there's actually somewhere in the game there's a hidden strength attribute because when you hold the left click and you right click and you do that manual jerk, okay, that thing actually gives your player a little bit of boost of strength, air quote strength that the devs have stated. Um, so I believe there is like a hidden strength attribute in here that we haven't figured out yet. But when it comes down to food, they're saying that some meals, if it's a big hearty meal, it can keep your energy a little bit higher. I don't subscribe to that very much because I've kind of figured out how the food actually affects your energy bar. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you now, this is how I see it. I was on Belaya River, I was watching a video, and I was too concentrating on the game, and I wanted to watch the video, so I pa I didn't really pause the game, but I just started to only dig. I stopped using coffee, I stopped using tea, and I just started to dig. That was it. So for the next three, four hours, I just dug. I didn't eat any more food, I didn't eat any more um, coffee or tea. OK, to push my energy up, I just dug. And what I figured out was a couple of things. Number one, once you've dug and once you've pushed your energy above that 70 percent and you've to, to dig and you've dug, the game recognizes it and it'll automatically push your energy to 100 percent. While it's pushing your energy to 100 percent, what happens is, is you're trading energy for food or i should say opposite you're trading food for energy okay so what happens is is you kind of get a balance between your energy and your food bar your food bar will go down as your energy goes up now it's not a one-to-one -one ratio meaning one tick of energy going up is one tick of food going down. It's not like that. It's more of a 10 to 1. So you get your energy goes up 10 ticks, okay? And then you'll see your food go down one tick. Now, what happens when your energy gets all the way to zero? Or your food, I'm sorry. What's, what happens when your food gets all the way to zero? Nothing. Your food never actually goes to zero. Your food will actually stop right about here. And there will always be a little bit of red there. There will be, always be that little sliver of red. You guys with me so far? You'll still regenerate energy all the way to 100%. Okay? And because your food is down to that red, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to stop regenerating energy. However, what happens is, is if you eat a couple of small snacks and you bring your energy up to yellow, you'll notice that your energy will actually start to regenerate faster. Meaning that your food actually, your food bar actually affects how quickly your energy regenerates. Now, I know you're all probably thinking, well, no, that's comfort. That's comfort, Mystic. It's not. It doesn't affect it a massive amount. It's just a very slight amount, but you can definitely see the difference. So if your food is down to pretty much that small red sliver, you're going to notice that your energy without using coffee or tea is going to very, very slowly regenerate. But as soon as you start eating something and you notice that your food has gone from red to yellow or from yellow to green you're going to have 
you're going to notice an increase in your re energy regeneration. And hopefully I'm not stumbling over my own, old, my own words enough where you guys are getting confused. But basically what it comes down to is as long as you keep... As long as you keep your food in the yellow or in just barely in the green, you'll have a slight faster regeneration in your energy. Okay? So all of you guys that are out there that are just going in and you're eating frickin' carrots, that's fine, as long as you eat enough carrots to keep yourself in the yellow. Now, between yellow and green, I didn't really see too much of a difference, but between red and yellow, I absolutely did. So if you're one of those guys that like to be, or those girls that like to be super efficient in your fishing, you may want to try and at least keep your food at yellow or barely, barely into the green. Okay, you guys with me so far? All right. Now, what food helps with energy regeneration? Now that we're talking about food, coffee and tea, right? Coffee and tea. Yay, coffee and tea. However, in the past, the moderators have stated and the devs have stated that monkey cola also helps you gain i gotta check something here why am i going so far out okay so that's that okay line clip let's go in a little 15. okay so the devs have actually said in the said in the past that monkey cola will actually help regenerate energy as well i've tried monkey cola about a thousand times and it really hasn't done much for me i don't see much of a energy regeneration um i do a lot more with like coffee and tea coffee when it comes down to it coffee is more for energy regeneration um tea is actually more for your comfort it does help considerably when it comes down to your energy regeneration but it's actually more for your comfort a little bit more Okay, and then there's other stuff that's even more for your comfort that's really badass for your comfort. But when it comes down to it, coffee, tea, I would forget about the monkey cola. Um, one of the guys on the forums, his name's Eli, uh, Elwood, Elwood Ieth or something like that. And also Lady of Games who used to do videos on it also stated that there were other foods that can kind of give other types of energy regeneration i've never found anything i've never found any alcohol uh snacks i've never found any of these snacks or anything really do anything um it's just really coffee or tea or hot cocoa or um bitten will actually help with your energy not directly but through your comfort as well so when it comes down to it none of your other foods really do much for you overall to be completely honest with you. So all of this stuff that I've got here, it doesn't really do much. I, I eat these quite a bit. I don't really see them do much. They fill me up completely. I don't see them do much for for energy. If I eat, if I drink a monkey cola, you're not going to see my energy move pretty much at all. You see how it's not really moving? So yeah, I don't think the monkey cola really does anything. It's just mainly coffee or tea at this point. Uh, you with me so far? Okay, next, let's go ahead and talk about... And by the way, I'm going to talk more about coffee and tea later. There's a big, like, argument over if coffee and tea actually directly affects your energy bar. Uh, directly, not just through your comfort or through your food, but through your energy. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But I'll talk about it at the end. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and talk about your comfort bar. Now, your comfort bar is part of your dead battery scenario. Remember what I said about the dead battery? No energy and no comfort. Okay, so that's a dead battery. All right? All right. A storm, rain, thunder, uh, low food. If you have low food, all of these things will actually affect your comfort level. Okay, so if you've got... Oh, crap. I'm hooked into something big, and I do not have the right reel on this. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and fight it while we're talking. Okay, so storms, you're out. It's a nice sunny day like it is right now, and what actually happens? It starts to rain. As you guys saw when I first got into this video, it was raining, and my food comfort was very, very, very low, right? Right, okay. So, because of that, your food your comfort affects your energy severely 
the lower your comfort is, the lower your energy regeneration is. So let me say that again. The lower your comfort is, the lower your energy regeneration is. The higher your comfort is, the higher your energy regeneration will be. Does that make sense? So if my comfort level is in the green, then I'm almost, and let's, let me say that my food is in the green, I'm at 100% energy regeneration if my food or if my comfort drops down to yellow then i they don't tell you exactly on the forums how much it affects it but i believe it drops down your energy regeneration drops down by 50 percent or it's around 50 percent if your comfort drops down to a sliver if it drops down to red and you're way down here then you're down like 75 percent when it comes down to your regeneration okay comfort is one of the most important things when it comes down to your energy regeneration okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually show you kind of a video of me with a dead battery meaning i have no energy and i have no comfort i'm going to go ahead and drink a bunch of coke uh not cokes but of um hot cocos which help your comfort significantly we'll talk about these later on but when it comes down to it i'll drink a few we'll take a quick break and you guys can watch how they affect my comfort and then you watch my energy as my comfort goes up and you'll see my energy start to speed up and start to actually go up faster and faster Okay, so hopefully that was a good little example of showing you guys how comfort really truly does affect energy. It's one of the biggest things when it comes down to, oh, five kilograms, that's not bad. Eight kilograms on these is a trophy, so that's what I'm actually trying for. As you can see, that one wasn't too bad to fight in. Um, I don't really have a big, yeah, it doesn't really matter. You guys are here for the energy video. Okay, so... That's what happens when it comes to your comfort bar. You get into a really bad windstorm or a rainstorm, thunder, your comfort goes down, and then you fight a fish, and as you're fighting a fish and your comfort is going down, your energy is going down, your energy is now at zero, your comfort now is, is at zero, you're screwed, okay? You need to decide what to do at that point. You need to decide if you're going to go ahead and put down your rod or if you're going to head, go ahead and try and drink some coffee and tea to try and get your comfort back up. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's what your comfort will actually do. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, I also mentioned that food, low food will actually hurt your comfort. So you need to keep your food at, to, at, at least yellow to keep your comfort up. Um, hot food. There's some people that are like, oh, okay, well, if you're talking about hot cocoa and you're talking about hot tea and you're talking about hot coffee, then that's supposed to help your comfort raise too, right? Okay, so here's the thing. When you eat hot food, it doesn't, it has diminishing returns. It doesn't actually help your comfort as much as coffee and tea does. Okay, so there's not any reason for you to go in and say, oh, well, my comfort's low. I'm going to go in and eat this Siberian Peleni. Pel, Pelemim, din, din, din. English word's good, but this is actually Russian. It would, this is a hot food, but it's not going to be good for me to go in and eat it. Why? Because it's not going to raise, I have a diminishing return on it. It's not going to raise my warmth. Therefore, it's not going to raise my comfort. So, thermos of cocoa or bitten those are the two best you can do if you've got low energy then you want to jump into thermoses of tea or thermoses of coffee okay and i don't know where the hell i'm like there are, nope there's mold wine there's some people that believe that um there's some people believe that that like alcohol will actually work as well and it does um when it comes down to your comfort and raising your comfort hot cocoa and and bitten are the two best in the absolute game 
um, you see in the video that I just showed you that I use like four or five thermoses of cocoa and you watch how fast my cocoa or my, my cocoa, my comfort level rose. Bitten is even better. It was expensive. You can still buy it right now if you're if it's if the the snowmen are still up. I've got 43 portions and it is by far the best when it comes down to raising your comfort. One of these should raise your comfort completely to 100% and it will hold it at 100% a lot longer than anything else. This has been the best drink out of all of them that has helped my comfort completely when it comes down to horrible rainstorms, especially in Ladoga Archipelago. Okay, so this is one of the best. It is expensive. If you're a newbie, you don't need it. You can just go with cough cocoa cocoa can be also expensive if you're somebody who's just cheap and you don't want to buy it on that thermoses of tea or thermoses of coffee they're hot they do help out tea helps your comfort a little bit more than coffee does coffee's more about energy um, thermos of tea is more about energy and comfort the cocoa and britain are all about tea are all about um are all about comfort okay and raising your comfort up significantly so that's your comfort bar it is the 100 percent most important when it comes down to your energy okay now let's talk about emergency um emergency situations that you get yourself into and let's also talk about coffee and tea i want to address coffee and tea first there's a big conspiracy out there that everybody says coffee and tea does not directly affect your energy, meaning it does not give you a boost to your energy. I think this is a big, gigantic load of BS. There is just too many times, and I will, I will, and unless I see an actual comment from a moderator or a dev saying that they don't affect your energy at all, they only affect your comfort or your food, I will keep saying that coffee and tea will absolutely positively affect your energy directly everybody that i've said this to not everybody a lot of people agree with me but everybody else that i've said this to has have have stated oh no 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 no, no. Uh, coffee and tea only affects your comfort and your food and i say no no that's not actually true because if you watch and you're very vigilant when you watch when you drink coffee and tea. Your comfort can be at 100%. And as soon as you hit your coffee or tea, what happens? Your energy will skyrocket. So you're telling me it only was affected, the energy was only affected because your coffee and tea raised your comfort? Well, that's not true because your comfort was already at 100%, so that's not true. I had people say to me, oh, no, well, coffee and tea raise your food, and if you're raising your food, you're raising your energy. That's not true at all either. Um, that's absolutely not true. In fact, I believe if I still have it, I'll pull up a picture of me with zero food, almost zero food and almost zero comfort, and I've got full energy. How did I do that? I used coffee and tea. While those were going down, I used coffee and tea, which affected my energy directly and raised my energy up to 100%. Now, I'm not saying that coffee and tea gives you a huge boost to your energy. Like you drink it and then boom, you're, you've got half energy. I'm not talking like that. It doesn't give you a huge, what's called a burst of energy. What it does, I do believe, give you is they both give you either a faster tick rate on how fast your energy ticks when it goes up, or it gives you more energy per tick. Or it does both. I think coffee does both, but I think tea gives you more energy per tick, but also affects your comfort more. Okay? So I will take that to my grave unless I find somebody who actually has a comment from a dev or a moderator stating that coffee and tea does not directly affect energy. I swear it does. Okay, let's talk about energy or low energy situations. Stop reeling. That's one of the biggest things that you can do. Oh my gosh, I'm reeling really fast. Look, I'm hitting shift and reeling really fast, but my energy's down to zero. What do I do? Stop reeling. Duh. Next thing is, is if your pole is up like this, guess what you do? You put your pole down like that. That, those two things are the most biggest energy wasters. 
okay then at that point what you want to do is you need to look down at what you've got going on down here if your food is all the way full you need to start popping coffees if your food is half full then you need to start popping and your comfort is down your food is half full and your comfort is down you need to start popping teas or you need to start popping um, cocos or bittens to get your comfort up to get your energy to regenerate does that make sense so let's say that i'm in an energy situation i've got zero comfort and i've got zero energy what do i do this is what i do i put the rod down now of course you're going to want to do a little something else you're going to one you're going to want to turn around why do you want to turn around let me show you what happens when you turn around turn around and you flip your rod around guess what happens you get an automatic straight line then you can press your you put your rod down and with a fish on that it's going to bend the rod backwards and you're going to keep a constant tight line on that fish it's one of the scariest things to do when you comes down to bank fishing because you have a 50 percent chance of losing that fish especially if your line goes slack okay so Here's a, here's here's an here's a here's a situation. My energy is at zero. My comfort is at zero. I'm just about to lose this fish, this massive fish, and I just looked down at my at my energy and went, "Oh crap! What do I do?" Well, if I'm on a boat, the first thing I want to do on a boat is I want to put my rod down. I want to sit down in the boat. I want to turn around and and press. The J button which will help me start trolling then I want to start trolling away from the fish and as you do that what that's going to do is it's going to drag the fish behind you as your pole has been sat down and you're going to be able to keep a tight line and then you're going to be able to hit coffee teas um, if your food is empty you're going to hit a whole bunch of cocos or bittens and then you're going to get that you know that um, comfort up there and you're going to get the energy up there if your comfort's up there, you just weren't watching your energy, you're going to hit coffee and teas and you're going to get your energy back up there. Okay? That's what happens on the boat. On land, if you're fighting a fish, you're going to want to make sure that you spin around, you get that tight you get that tight line with the, the with the the fish that's actually fighting against you. And it's actually a fighting technique. But you're going to turn around. You see how that bends backwards for a quick sec? Then you can put your rod down, and you're going to walk away, and you're going to start hitting your coffee and teas. And you're going to sit there, and you're going to watch down here, and you're going to watch. And when that energy bar gets up to yellow, then you can go ahead and go back over it and pick it up and reel it in. That way, you're going to stop the fish from getting off, but you're going to stop. You're going to keep your, you're going to keep your rod down, and you're going to stop stop reeling you don't want to reel you're just going to kind of walk backwards um, you can walk upwards of the bank and you can keep a little bit of a, a tension on your on your um, line like that and then you're going to sit there and watch your energy grow and grow and grow and grow until it gets to the point where it's almost 100 percent then you can start fighting again okay so those are kind of the emergency situations that you have and it all comes down to oh my gosh I need to get some coffee and teas in me and I need to put the rod down if I because I have only a sliver left of energy and I need to step away from it and hope I don't lose it. And the best way to do it is try and keep your line tight if you can. So hopefully that help you helps you guys out. If it does, hit the like button. If it doesn't, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, subscribe. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. I really appreciate it. By the way, this area is 17 by 114 this is my setup right here you can use this if you really like this area and you thought it was really great how many fish i was catching down here um it's up to you keep gaming keep doing it midnight have a blast we'll see you guys in the next episode take care have a good one and bye bye